long. Babski awaits for none, though. He'll peek out off the back of it. I like that delayed peek. Not trying to cross towards the pit, not trying to fight for the control. He just wants a kill, and he gets out alive. Double peek from the site as well. Him and Magis looking to drop the first across the pit. Oh, dear. Babski goes wide. Now, that is very keen, and that's going to cost him. Maybe you think he had time to cross to the car. Not going to be the case. Magisk still here. Still shooting people in the face. Shocks dead. So I with the P250 no longer. And it's all on Mizuta and RPK. They've got to try and recover from the ashes now. RPK on the corner. Two USPs back in the site. This is not a nice fight to take. Swaps out to the P2, but oh. it's not going to do you any good with device firing shots down range like that. Astralis, they get the pistol. They get off to a good start here, and they go 1-0 up. Yeah, forget all the, the big brain. Forget the fact that they got a seven-man roster and coach of the year from last uh, from 2019 and all the sick utility they have behind it. The individuals for Astralis are looking incredible as well. And I mean, if there were any map to show off your individuals, oh boy, billions of kills have happened on death matches on Dust 2. Astralis looking to add a few to the tally. Quick, clean USPs. It's down to the Glocks again for Vitality as they move down the middle. Dupree in the doors, and we got Magic short side. That smoke fading, Dupree dropping the bomb on Xbox nonetheless. That is a very unfortunate spot, and Magic is just going to make it hurt, make it work as RPK does something, but it's not really going to hold too much weight. It's Astralis with a 2-0 lead, and we don't wait for Vitality either. They've got guns already. And an attempt at the bonus round here from Astralis. That's going to take something a little bit special, and that's what this long play looks to have in store for us. S-Tag so blind. I mean, everyone is. He's kind of in the same boat as the rest of his crew. Zai Wu hang out to dry on the corner. He's holding down Pit, and Bubski was never aware that someone was so oh. damn close. Magisk will get one through the smoke. Running out of ammo, running out of time. He's going to try and fall on back. What? Device is there to help out. And in spite of these two players at long, both being very, very low on HP device, surely this is where he goes down, right? They know that he's here. He just got a kill from the car. He's eight points of health. Device, yeah. what can he manage? There's the check from Apex. There's the kill, the follow-up onto Magisk, and that leaves Dupree all alone in a very hostile world. He's got a kit and a full stack of util. That could be used to argue a save or argue an attempt, but for him, he's going to hold on to it. Waiting for a lurk that will never come. As Vitality have three on the A site playing together. I like the call for Astralis, right? Very, uh, you know, understandable that Vitality are going to go for the long take, assuming the spawn is there for that first gun round, getting the AKs out. They already showed that in the pistol. So Astralis, they throw bodies at the problem, but their problem is bodies as Vitality kill everyone through smokes and the likes. So we were also hiding in that long uh, long corner smoke. Catching Bubski was definitely a key as Astralis didn't know that anyone had made it out alive. So he survives by smoking his molly at the back of blue. And Dupree will just live to fight another day. It's the first round for the French. Better late than never. Remember back on Nuke, albeit a different map, Vitality managed to get one round in that entire T side after finding seven on their first half. So they had plenty of opportunity Obviously, this is a map where we definitely expect Vitality to get far more done. Not just it being their map pick, but one where individuals are key. And despite Astralis' rock-hard brain, Vitality, they've got the aim, and they're going to show it again on long. Fast flashes once more. Mizuta leading the charge. Got a grenade onto Zaiwu, but Astralis give it up. They back up to the site. Yeah, they're trying to be active over here towards Catwalk, especially with Device keeping an eye on it from, uh, from mid as well. Allows them to work together and then fall back up through Cat to try and hold on to the A site if needed. I love that, right? They clear the tunnels, but they don't aggress any further than that. That was S-Tag and Dupree clearing that out. They don't spot anything, and so they just go, well, 
you know, we looked in, we saw nothing, we'll rotate a guy over. Had they gone deeper, Apex is holding it from T-Spawn, so he's not even aware that they get that information because Astralis don't go further than just in through the mouth of Tunnel. Now, Device holding long, a missed shot onto Zai Wu. And while all this chaos has happened, Masuta has been able to get across. He's now out here on the left-hand side. Smoke goes down. Device should have realized where that came from. He has stood in full view of Masuta if he were to swing. He's got no idea. So as he deals with one, now falling back, now he's going to reconsider. Goes back in for another peek. Flashes are good, though, and that keeps him off the angle. Device needs help. He needs his team, and Masuta going above and beyond in the literal sense has put us back into a four-on-four. Yeah, Bobski, he's coming from short. There's no grenades left for Astral. There's no utility in any capacity. That kit is on the B player as well, a long way away. Uh, as Astralis are pushing up middle, looking for late flanks for Vitality. That Molly's the save. That's all it can be uh, as the time ticks away from Astralis. Any chance of winning this round follows. Yeah, retaking on Dust 2 without utility, you're just going to get wrecked by these AKs. And so Astralis, it's the very little they can do there. Mizuta's grabbed the AWP from the body of Device, so he can shuffle that along to Zaiwu in the next round. And yeah, I, I like what uh, what you said there, Harry, about how Apex was holding tunnels, but Astralis didn't actually give him that information. Despite that, all that knowledge, it's just flashes from Vitality that push Device off. He needs at least two kills. He's the only man inside of the site there to do anything. And without it, the lack of utility comes back to bite. Vitality with a second strongest start to this map. We had force by wars back and forth in the first one to begin. And now at least it's Vitality finding success, finding results with these rifle rounds. And for Astralis here, the money is not going to be in a great state either. So they are going to full force in. Device on a scout, Magis on a pistol. It's not too bad. Oh no, Zywu put two and two together, realizes that peak was coming in and Device is pretty lucky to still be alive. Flashes out three long, Abubsky is blind, hung out to dry as he gets dealt a pretty rough hand. And already we're seeing a lot more from Vitality here. This is a much more terrifying looking start to a game from them. Plus two, it felt like an inevitability, right? With yeah. it being such a good map for Vitality and one that Astralis aren't as proven on, especially not with this squad, right? We've only seen them play two maps thus far. S-Tag could do it all right now, but Zai Wu clearing him, ready for that. Deals with S-Tag, of course. Device comes in on the rotate, but only a scout. Ooh, Ooh. that's one. Come on, Device. Flash is going in. He's getting pressured. Helped out by Dupree. Device mollied, and this could be his downfall. Swings for the peak and does get mopped up. Still a two on three. And Magis fast on the Ooh. rotate in through the tunnels. Zaiwu dropped, and now just Apex left. 1v2, trying to find Dupree. Dink down low. 40 seconds holding for Magis, who tries to go up and over. Oh. And he's going to connect the shot. The pre fire from Apex betrays him. Yeah. And Astralis with a force by, they get a third. You understand why he's pre firing everything there, right? Not just doing it out into the doors trying to catch that player in middle but then in the smoke he's so low he knows one shot from that deagle spells disaster device he was not ready for shocks and i don't blame him because remember after s tag dies from that late rotate and t-spawn shocks was already lower he didn't know s tag push he was playing passive and that's why zywu was ready for it and so shocks took the position really ahead of time <laughs> frustration but still around for Astralis the problem is for Apex is that spray on the boost he was he was ready for the angle maybe if he waits he hits the first bullet but you know he has a few bullets left he starts spraying by that point his gun's inaccurate and Magis just peeks out and pops him great job on the deagle with two Astralis, oh, they just they force right back in and they win the round. Of course they do. Vitality now left in a similar spot. Do have plenty more money though. Two Galils and the Orb. So things aren't too bad for Vitalities. I was going to watch that mid cross. Smoked for Astralis. There's, de there's no way you're not smoking or nading the cross in a game like this. You know, both sides, both teams are able to hit this uh, cross shot to perfection. If it can happen in your pugs, it can happen with the best teams in the world. Bobski sees a shadow, but Apex ducks below it, and he misses the spray. Uh-oh, Device running up towards short. They're already deeper than he's ready for. Does get the tag onto RPK. Follows up with a nade, but this leaves Magisk Ooh. all alone, and he just gets hounded down. 
It's a save for Astralis. They lose A in a matter of moments. And this A-hole needs to be addressed ASAP because yeah. it's been a reoccurring problem now for the Danes. It's not even just the A-hole, it's the stacks towards B. It's the heavy B leans for Astralis. And you know, you, you understand for good reason why they're doing it. B can be a difficult retake site. Obviously opened up somewhat by that door change earlier this year. But uh, yeah, they have been leaning very heavy B and that's been leaving them susceptible where you're really just relying on one player to do it all. Here comes the hunt from Apex. Oh, does a lot of damage. Dupree's down to eight. There's a rat from the tunnel as well. Device, oh, oh dear. That molly is going to be a bit of a problem. He's going to have time to smoke it. Oh, but he will get spammed from RBK. Apex comes to clear it. And it, there's no way Dupree's getting out of here alive. They are coming from all positions, all angles. And Mizuza shoots him through the car. It's a drive-by for Vitality. They save a double orb as well. Whether that was communicated or not, I guess we'll see. But Shox has a fantastic B-spawn, so definitely give him that. He can post up and look for the pick. This was the problem, right, Bubsky? Not a shot you usually miss, uh, especially with a shadow advantage, but Apex crouch peaks, and that's a real issue. Makes it very hard. Shox, very vocal right now, very frustrated in some of these rounds. But that's the passion. That's the love for the game. Oh, what? Tag. Able to nail that. I don't know how. I think we need another Shox player cam after that one. I doubt he's too happy there. And Dupree is here. Magisk even begins the rotation over. And we're going to throw that one up there. There we go. Knowing Astralis, they'll probably boost and grab it out of the balcony. We'll have to hold off on that one. We'll have to wait and see. I'm just holding for this mid cross. Masuta, maybe going to give it to him. These Deagles, they've done right by Astralis once already. And oh, Masuta's missed the uh, the smoke there that normally allows the Xbox cross very, very safely. Gets stuck up on the, uh, the hinge normally. And now Dupree boosting over. He's not going to waste an opportunity like that. He's laughing to himself. They just missed the mid smoke, he said. Now an Xbox smoke going in and... Ooh, Apex heard by Magisk. This B play still coming through, but it's a four on three for Astralis. You better believe they're at least giving this one a look in. Nothing to lose, everything to gain. Magisk has the one bit of util that's been lacking in these retakes, but he's going to be able to flash his team back in. So he sees it, and he ducks below it, but he can't avoid this shot. Dupree, what a kill. And they're not looking, they're not realizing Dupree's run up. RBK calls all cover, and, well, he's not there in time. He gets one, but it comes at the cost of his teammate and the round, and that's why Astralis give it a look in. What an incredible retake, and winning an eco like that gives you so much money, not just in terms of the fact that you're saving and you're, you're getting the, the win bonus, but they pick out three guns from there as well. One of those being the orb, right? That's like five grand almost that you've just saved having to invest into. Shocks meets an unfortunate fate on that peak as well. We've yet to see much from Zywu again on this map. I know we're still early days. It's only seven rounds in, but he's two for six. Yeah, he had seven rounds on the CT side of Nuke. Uh, oh, sorry, T side of Nuke. CT side of Nuke, rather. And then two rounds in the second half. Obviously, Vitality only got one round. So definitely someone that we need to look to if Vitality won any leg in this series. Meanwhile, though, Masuta. Masuta is a player who had to learn everything when he joined Vitality, according to in-game leader Apex. He's still a player that Apex wants to see more from. And yet he's actually topping the server currently for his respective team. Yeah, it's always scary, right? Like, you know what Shox and Zaiwu can bring to this team. They are the two players, I think, that we look towards. And then we have guys like RPK to fill that void. Masuta wasn't necessarily bought in to be some mad fragger. So, need to see more from the rest of the gang, the usual suspects, as it were. The fact that the two players that feel like they're struggling the most right now, obviously still relatively early in this game, being uh, Shox and Zaiwu doesn't bode well for this double AWP that can be so deadly here on Dust. It's a mid to be this time for Vitality and a lot faster than what we've seen in rounds gone by. Apex out from Catwalk, catches one at the A site. Dupree isn't ready for them to be so close. Oh, this no. So much damage, but only one kill in the hold. He brings Masuta and Zaiwu to one and five HP respectively. 
if only Astralis knew just how low these players were, they might be more invested in retaking this site. Bobski's gonna get caught maybe by Apex, but actually he gets that kill. And this round feels so doable, but they just don't know how much damage S-Tag did. He doesn't even know. He was blind when those players came in. Yeah, you can see Dupree uh, lining up a flash from the uh, towards the door from the site, but then like realizes the doors have been swapped, uh, throws it over the top instead. Nice shot. Device got to be careful. Might catch everyone here. Zywe still running and gunning towards the site. Device scoped up at the corner. Oh, good night. Bubsky should get this trade though and save the orb. Oh, just a little too late. Round time expires. That's fine. They killed everyone for vitality. Astralis are going to be happy with that at a bare minimum. And we see why they're leaning B, right? It's rounds like that that, uh, <laughs> that are very, very annoying to deal with when you're Astralis. Even though they have a heavy B setup, vitality, good flashbangs, great utility to get in. And also, uh, the player close to tunnels flashes Dupree into mid first, but he was, uh, you know, just spotting. He was first lining up a smoke and he was just spotting, so he wasn't committed to any fight there. So by the time, you know, Astralis are even taking shots, Vitality are already pouring into B through the window. Here's that buyback for Astralis, though, with one kit and again, limited utility device. Waiting. He should hear them. Yeah, they just jumped. Now he's got his gun out. He's ready. And the smoke's come through. Magis with first blood. He's killed the short player. The spray is good. The bomb gets dropped. And Bubsky's here on the site. But Mitsuta, he's been very key on these entries, getting a lot of picks onto A. Again, the damage has been done. Uh, this is such a winnable one for Astralis. And this time they wait, right? This time they have that ability to be a little more patient and wait for these kills, wait for the rotations to come in from the rest of the team and then approach this together. We need something big. Masuta at ramp, first to fall. Now Apex and Shox. Ooh, just Shoxy left. 1v5. If there ever was a time, it's now. But how on earth is he going to pull this one out of the hat? They're on the ramp. Shox with a lot of kills, but not able to stop that defuse. It's five for Astralis. Are keeping this lead up just about. And that there, you know, now we see the consequences of everyone falling in that one round that Vitality yeah. were able to get. The money is gone. It's wiped out. The investment's coming back in for Astralis. And it's probably only going to be pistols here for the Frenchman. Yeah, it feels like whenever Astralis have these like low investment rounds with like a couple of uh, pistols or SMGs, it's just not holding them back. It's not getting in the way. I love the horde. They always group, they always go in together, and so many numbers moving up that catwalk. Dupree close. Device is spamming, hoping on the reload he can bait in a peek or a rush, and Dupree can do the worst, but instead it's Vitality grouping towards A. They've got two flashes on shocks. With no smoke for this close position, they are going to have to cross past Device. He is waiting for that flashbang. Oh, the run boost. And they go flying in. One towards the ramp. That actually catches Device's two. He dodges the second a little bit. Magic, so getting one. The bomb dropped. They don't check Goose. And well, Astralis are loose. Four for Vitality still, as they get nothing in that round. Almost finishing Magis, but almost isn't enough. Regardless, we're waiting on the rifle rounds. I feel like of all the maps in the in the pool, Dust Two is the hardest to succeed with deagle uh, with deagles with pistols in. The only way you can see rounds like that slip are when you have deagles in like the catwalk there and a bit of utility. You know, you can try and cross to the site, you kill the orper on long, but you got to rely on a lot of things there. So. Well, I tell you what, right, these A-takes have been a real problem, but they've relied heavily on a lot of these flashbangs to come through. And, and in this round for Vitality, this money is still pretty stretched thin. You know, they don't have orbs. They don't have a lot of utility to work with in spite of coming in with this buy. And there is a pretty heavy A-side lean from Astralis. Magis gets the information, gets the hell out of there, but short control given over. Nade does great damage, and now the flashes rain in. Magis gets deleted, but Device has traded out. Challenging, back onto shocks. another for Device, who is just the absolute king of this A bomb site. RPK wrapping in through the bottom of mid though, and Apex in with another. It all falls onto Bubski in the blink of an eye. And this long wrap is something that Vitality is so ready for. He's been there round after round. <laughs> he hounds down RPK, and now finds himself in the 1v2.
Oh, this smoke is a problem as well. He's going to have to go through it. But he actually goes CT spawn as well. That's a hard rotation with Zaiwu peeking him from the site. I love that. No waiting around. No giving the room or the respect. Zaiwu on five points of health. Strafes out wide and takes down that last man. Vitality, they didn't, don't need the util, I guess. They trade effectively up on that A site, despite two from device. Magic, he's uh, up, on the, uh, up on the cat corner. He's jiggle peeking. He spots like three times you know, every second. He sees nothing. He, he delays for maybe half a second more. He jiggles out again. Vitality already have three players around the corner. Even though he drops the Molotov, they get through it. Very fast, very reactive from Vitality. All believing in the cool all committing as a unit. And well, they have done the same here on long. They're already one down. Zaiwu's been tagged. Device killed Mizutra in spawn with the orb. And they are getting close up on this A site. That flash is good. Magic sees someone, but it's deep. He doesn't know how close they're getting. Bubsy's going to have to cover in the elevator. Oh no, Device has killed his teammate. Magic picking up the pieces here, but he falls off the top of the site alongside Device. And now it's down to two apiece. That team kill could tear this whole round apart. Dupree is wrapping long, and this kill onto RPK could make up lost ground in this round. RPK is not even considering this long wrap as a possibility, but timing is everything here. Dupree catching RPK now leaves Apex all alone, trying to navigate these rather murky waters in the clutch. Dupree at long, gets the information, spots Apex, but the shot connects in favor of the Frenchman. S-tag out from CT, and Apex, try as he might, cannot win that fight out. Defuse gonna come on in, but it's gonna be close. S-tag sticking it, Astralis, I trust them at knowing their timings. This is a seventh round locked on in for the Danes, just about. Yeah, no kit anywhere as well, so that was a very dangerous one. Device is probably, you know, sweating watching Estag try to clutch that, uh, that round out. Here's the mid shot that we didn't get to see, taking down Mizuto, who was actually not even trying to fight. Wow, pixel left on him, crossing towards long. And especially when you get that kill on your device, it's so much info, because you see that, that late B spawn crossing towards long. And at that point, Astralis is hard rotate because they know that it's got to be that A take. You, you love timings like that if you're Astralis. That's everything. You can use that info to your advantage very well. And Estag wasn't able to save the AWP at the end of the round, so Device is down to a scout now. Vitality buying back in, but this one is not going to be as pretty as some of the ones in the past. While they will have the util, the AKs are severely lacking. Shocks could just buy armor AK, and honestly, that's what I want from this man, because if he buys a Galil to buy util, they'll be left with one proper rifle, one AK on RPK, so that's what he does, with a Deagle on two, but Mizutra and Zywoo on Deagles, perfectly viable. Oh, Dupree's had enough. And this is more info towards B. Astralis are about to know this entire site is clear, but Dupree isn't playing aggressive, he's just holding on to lower. Yeah, it's the three players up through short that could blindside this A site if Astralis are not careful. Bubski only good for one. RPK Whoa. is all the way up long and Magisk trying desperately. What? Somehow gets away with the double. He's left a two on two open to S-Tag and Dupree and he dropped the bomb on Catwalk. That is a disaster for Vitality. Reclaiming this package now is a very tall order indeed. Apex from T-Spawn lines up oh. the perfect <laughs> shot and deals with S-Tag. Now leaving Dupree in the clutch. They go back, RPK down in the pit, gonna have his IGL come and rejoin him here. But Dupree is wrapping them. He's trying to change the aim of the game. He's left that bomb and that's what they're both expecting him to hold on to. Dupree <laughs> playing the trigger discipline and he might get rewarded. There it is, Dupree with the clutch, 1v2. And delayed gratification is the only gratification this man needs. Eight on the board for Astralis. As you said, that's the last thing Vitality expect, right? They are waiting for him on the bomb. They, they're, they're expecting him to be waiting for them on the bomb. And he makes the opposite play. He also hears, after S-Tag dies in mid, he also hears that late long player running into the doors. And so at that point, he can pull his knife out. He knows where they both should be. And he can take that flank. What an excellently played round. That's the experience, right? Not using the obvious answer, the obvious solution, which is to play that bomb and look for the gunfights. More pistols. 
Also certainly helped that Dupree, he was lower. He waited a second, even though Bubsky pretty much got all the info up on Cat that Vitality are rushing. That enabled Dupree, uh, enabled Dupree to fast flank and get control of the bomb on Cat. Now just on the site, had Device find one. Vitality, I mean, yeah, this is a round where you're really just screwed. Unless Shox gets a Deagle uh, opener, what can you possibly do with P250s and no utility? It's not against the team that's going to give you much room. The boost up? No, they move away from it. Back to middle, perhaps. But we've already talked about how his trials have been leading towards B in a lot of these rounds. This is no exception. Two in the sight. Device in mid. Backs up. And they think, oh, we won't go against Device. Let's go to A. Well, where's Device? He's A. As is Magis. Firing off the pot shots down from Spawn. Apex does do something. And Mizuta cleans up Magis with no head armor. So now a bomb plant enabled. That's more than you can ask for. Yeah, they'll take that, right? They'll take that all day long. Glock able to get a kill in the site, gets that bomb down, nine on the board for Astralis, but it's extra money for Vitality, and that could even maybe enable one of these AWP purchases to come through on a man like Zaiwu. Gonna have to get dropped over by Masuta. Still there, right? Like, reflecting on kind of the, the timeline of this game, it's been so back and forth, and now Astralis is starting to pull ahead. They win the first two, Vitality come back with two of their own, and then they just trade one round back and forth for the next five before finally Astralis start to chain together some rounds. And now we see them in pole position, nine to five, looking good Whoa. for a strong finish here at the end of this first half. That's why we have that smoke down S tag. You don't need to jump over it. He tries to get the info. He gets hit, and that might have consequences because they're rushing the B-bomb site. Great pre-fire spray. Mizuta caught in the open. The flash blinds another player, and S-Tag takes down two. Oh, it's a mess. It is back and forth, but it's back again in the favor of the Danes. Apex in a clutch. He does get the cross. Going back for more, but he can't clean up Magis as well. Series, but they will be taking on phase. That's, again, assuming they lose the series. Who knows? Anything is possible, especially with someone like Zaiwu in the server. And despite his scoreline, he is feeling confident flanking fast up the top of middle flashed out to Astralis realize anything off the back of that util they seem very focused and driven towards this A site the flank won't continue Zywoo regroups on Cat and Astralis set their smokes towards A oh RPK flashed for the peak but whipping those shots Zywoo now stepping up to the plate Masuta even boosted here to offer him some resistance inside of this site. Zaiwu still Ooh. fighting, still putting up numbers onto a double before getting shut out by Bubski. Dropping into a three on three. Over here, hidden in Gandalf is shocked. And he could deny this bomb plant right now. S tag protected by Bobski is just about able to get that bomb down. And now, out from CT, Magis gonna save the life wow. of his teammate. It's three in the round for Bobski and an 11th on the board for Astralis. It just doesn't matter what information Vitality have, whether they know what's going on or not. Even when they do and they stack the site, Astralis just win every fight. We had Zaiwu on that fast flank, clear mid here long, go back to Cat. He was already on A before Astralis even committed. Every flash got dodged, yet Astralis still win it. Oh boy. Powerhouse are back to play. Back to long for Astralis, fast flashes. And no resistance here. Zaiwu falls back after just a shot. The Vice, he's gonna cross, get into the pit, wait for that smoke to fade. Do you have one Molotov on Dupree if they want to clear out the car? Okay, that works. Device dropping Zaiwu like it's nobody's business. There's a tag traded back and forth. Car cleared. Do you have this flank from B? Check T-spawn. Vitality are running in on the back line, but Bubsky's already turned around to deal with that. Oh dear, will someone stay? That's the question. Got anti-flash players on the corner while Astralis wait for Vitality to make a move. Dupree looking into the wall. Vitality, they're going to go for it. Apex can't really do a whole lot here. Ooh, oh, take that back. No scope in through the smoke. Masuta might even be able to deal with Device down here, but S-Tag saved his life. Don't worry, Device, I got you, bud. Double from him and double trouble now as Astralis get themselves a second here. Going deeper and deeper into the double digits. Apex dropped, and this leaves Shoxi all alone in a 1v4. All right, mate, just watch Magisk a bit more through the wall. And now hold this little passive angle as S-Tag 
And Device are down in the pit, and both these players are tagged. So it's certainly a little bit tantalizing if you're a man like Shox to try and do damage here. That's not going to undo the fact, though, that this should be 13 to 5 before Vitality are able to respond with anything. And that's a bit of pill to swallow, right? At this kind of scoreline on your map pick in the second map of the series. It almost feels like Astralis are heading to the playoffs. What a shocker. Very little to get in the way of that right now, especially in a round like this. We've got a flash, a couple of pistols, and that saved D Garma. You know, back in the previous map, at least we had like signs of life from shocks. Apex is looking good right now, 15-14, but it's not really holding a lot of weight. It's a B here for Astrala, smokes it down, and Vitality with only two in the sight, make that one. As long as someone sticks around to cover that mid cross, because players are going to flash through the smoke. Dupree deals with them easily, and yeah, this one's done. What a, uh, not really much of a surprise. Trox could consider holding onto his armor. That's if they let him get out. I love how Silver, our PK, has, hair looks in his picture. Yeah. The Silver Fox of Vitality. But is that going to be enough? <laughs> this buy round now is really the, the last chance saloon for Vitality to recover this, uh, this series. You know, and like we say, it's not elimination on the line for Vitality, but it is a fast track into the playoffs. And oh dear. They need to play one fewer match. So Astralis feeling good right now, looking to book themselves in. To make a run here in Cologne, Device biting the dust oh. early on. Nade's going to rain on down onto Masuta and Shocks. The other man who's here with him was tagged up earlier on. The Molly burns out the player in question. Oh, that Molly misses as well. Apex moves away, still going to get the kill. It doesn't hold him back, but how the hell do Astralis double Nade Masuta out and then Molly him? In the first gun round, they just know what's up. They know where he's playing and Divide Dupree. Oh, I said device, that's what I expected. He is already dead. Dupree's picked up the AWP and he's found uh, a player flanking the top of middle. Shocks flashed in, finds S tag, and this is still the A play for Astralis now. As Magic comes up catwalk, the Zaiwu holding him down with the AWP, but he is going to get split, pinched from two sides. Apex needs to support sooner rather than later, free up some room for Zaiwu. Considering the close angle, but that flash gives it away. So we flashed off, goes back in, drops the bomb. That might be the round right there. Even if Dupree hits some shots, it is going to be very difficult to get back to that package. And Zywu will not even let him get close. Six rounds to Vitality. And there we go, Harry. Like, you know, that, that was the round. They needed that. If they want to have any chance in this best of three, that has at least opened the door. Nice to see it coming from Zaiwu after such a quiet performance so far today. Very heavy B lean from Astralis, but doesn't look like a commitment by any stretch. They drop down into lower. Looking to gain this mid control, looking to take that away. Zaiwu and Device are having a standoff at long and Device has just come out ahead. Zaiwu removed and that is quite the man to find that AWP. Taken out of the equation, at least one of them. Shocks on the other inside of B. Device has completely switched things up. And now down here in middle, everywhere you go, it's just Device. Now even more as he creeps on out. Shocks is holding for this cross. The rest of Astralis are out through the catwalk. So even as they deal with Device, it's this A site that needs to hold its ground. And RPK doing what he can. It's not enough. Magis gets the, uh, the, the, the kill. Ooh. As that all gets derailed, so does the A bomb site for Vitality. It's only shocks left in the 1v3. And his mind has turned to saving this orb. 
devastating way to have a round elude you there. Great round from Device with his AWP. Pushes the boat out, you know, goes for the third onto Shoxi, and, you know, you can only expect so much from him, but it's a great one in terms of, you know, being so proactive, repositioning all around the map, keeping Vitality guessing, and so the moment they go a man down, they try and make a move to reclaim some ground, to take an advantage away, and in doing so, they dig the hole deeper. And look at the money, right? It just gets worse and worse. Vitality, even up against 14, can't fully invest. The AWP is the best weapon they'll have, and well, by some considerable margin. You can only be so upset at a result like this for Vitality, right? If anything, it just goes to show how dominant this Astralis team can be. Cologne might be theirs for the taking, Harry. I think that's that's what these results are showing us, right? You know, because of, of all the teams that have had hard roads, right? We're only a few days in, so it's, it's uh, it is early days, but hard roads. Astralis, Fnatic, and Vitality is their first two opponents. You know, those aren't sleeper teams; those are big boys, and Astralis are making them look easy. And it's such a sick storyline, right? Like how the. The unfaltering Astralis looked vulnerable through their own doing and then had to bring new players in to fill the boots of some very big characters within the CS scene. And now they're on that road to recovery. Bubski holding on to the top of the tunnel, but timing is a man's best friend. Down goes Masuta. Zaiwu here has shocks as well, leaning this direction. So a very heavy bit of B presence here. Zaiwu plucking Bubski out of the round and into the gauntlet. They go down here in middle. Device falling. Vitality in with a seventh. They don't want this to end just yet. And that there, that very weak buy, they are able to find another round on the back of it. Yeah, Bubski did that back on you as well if you remember he was holding ramp as a t in the trophy room he got flashed out and kills both players just fantastic timing great stuff mizuta is going to be uh, i was going to say kicking himself but it's not even his fault what can you do there oh uh, okay now he's going to be kicking himself that's just something else device absolute filth Shox is now alone in B, and you know, if you're Astralis, you get that kill on a player crossing, you are not passing off an opportunity to move in to a slightly more empty B bomb site. <laughs> Shox had a great game back on Nuke, but since moving on to Dust, he's been a little bit quiet. Now he's got Zaiwu here backing him up. These are like the two big boys of Vitality in this B bomb site. So Astralis, as they poise themselves, as they get ready to move in, they are going to be up against it, to say the very least. They spot that orb, but that's only one of the two players here. Utility reigning in. Now they know that Shox is in this site as well. That might change the mind of Astralis. Magis has crept out through Cat and a missed shot from Apex. Oh. There's the kill. And now Astralis, they change it completely. Get away from B. They want to go elsewhere. They've lost Magis over inside of A, but these players do get up through mid. Even a tag from Device through the wall again, this time onto Zaiwu. And while all this shifting is happening within the Astralis offensive, sneaking in through B is a man named S Tag. He's got all the way through, <laughs> plucks Zaiwu out of the round, makes it look easy. Down goes RPK, and it's over. Only Shox left. What a round from the Danes. Shox is lost, and I can't say I blame him. He wouldn't even know where this bomb's going down. He's deduced that it's B. He's in this rotate position, but there are just players all around him. This should be impossible, and indeed it is. Match and series point. Playoffs on the line, and Astralis are one away from getting there. Obski is Glock armor that round. He doesn't even need to do anything. He's just like the, the, the mailman, the bomb transporter, running around tunnels to lower, to cat, to tunnels to B, and Astralis. They get kills in every part of the map. It is just easy for them.
That was such a that's such a well orchestrated rotate, and the fact that they double back into B and leave S tag in the tunnels to get that kill, knowing Vitality would over rotate when they see Bomb go Xbox, it doesn't even climb up. It doesn't need to. And Vitality, they've won this low buy before, but someone relied on the double kill from Zai Wu's orb, as they often do. This time it's an SMG. Astralis again want this B-bomb site, and they might have it for near about free. Mizuta with only an MP9 and no grenades. He is going to get checked here. Aztec has the bomb, so info first and foremost with a trade right after. And Astralis right there might be t uh, booking themselves a ticket to the playoffs, as you say. Wall banged and shot through the smoke is Shoxi. Bobski sees the flank, and he drops the molly, getting out only just. It's the hunt down for Vitality for the match. Oh, device with one. It's only Zaiwu. It feels inevitable, Whoa. and indeed it is. Astralis.